This is immigration attorney Paris Malakuti, and if you are watching this video, you are probably one of my clients. Um, and in this video, I'm going to talk about preparation for the I-485 adjustment of status interview or the naturalization interview. This video applies equally for both. We're going to talk about um, how the interview goes and how to listen to the questions and how to answer the questions. Okay, so first of all, um, if I am there in, with you in the interview, which I likely will be, I will be seated right next to you, okay? I will have all of your application information in front of me, um, and I will be listening carefully to every question that is asked and answered um, by the USCIS officer. The USCIS officer is gonna ask you the questions and you have to answer. I do not answer for you, but like I said, I will be following along and I know the answer to every question. I know the proper answer, the right answer. Um, the correct answer, the honest answer. And I will be listening um, to see if something is going wrong or if potentially you have answered a question incorrectly. Um, this happens all the time um, due to nerves, people getting nervous and they, they answer a question incorrectly, something you know even basic about their life. Um, only in those cases will I pipe up and say something to um, basically clear up the issue, okay? Um, when you are asked a question by the U.S. CIS officer, you need to listen very, very carefully to the question. Okay, listen to the whole question. Do not start speaking until the entire question is finished so that you understand what the question is. When you hear the question, take as much time as necessary to consider that question before you start answering. Okay, if you don't understand the question, you can ask and you should ask the U.S. CIS officer to rephrase the question. If you didn't hear a question properly, ask them to please repeat the question. If you have to do that multiple times, that's totally fine. What we don't want in any circumstance is for you to be guessing to a question. You should never be guessing to a question that's being asked of you in a USCIS interview, okay? Um, second point I wanna make, there are four, type, four answers which are perfectly acceptable if they're applicable, okay? Those four answers are yes, no, I don't know, and I don't remember. Yes, no, I don't know, and I don't remember. Very, very short answers, okay? If you're asked a question in which one of those four answers is applicable and you're not asked to explain, that's totally fine, and in fact, that's what you should answer, okay? So you, the, the moral of that story is that you should a answer a question in as short a way as possible, okay, without being evasive. Answer the question and stop. There is no need to continue on explaining and trying to you know, give uh, stories and explanations about something. The USCIS officer is trained in this and if they want additional explanation, they will ask for additional explanation, okay? Um, the third point I wanna make, um, sometimes there are flare-ups, sometimes there's conflict between your lawyer, which would be me, and the U.S. CIS officer. Uh, this could happen for a variety of reasons. Sometimes it's related to um, a conflict about seating arrangement, where I should be seated, um, or about the types of questions that, that the adjudicator is asking, or maybe even about their tone, or maybe about you know anything else. Um, if there's a conflict, okay, and, and something flares up, Remain calm. I want you to remain calm. I want you to know that everything is under control. I'm going to take care of whatever issue might come up, okay? So do your best not to get flustered because there, there, there's conflict or, you know, start thinking, oh, it's all going downhill, you know. It, it's not that way, okay? A lot of times in USCIS office, uh, excuse me, USCIS interviews, there is a flare-up between the lawyer and the adjudicator. And once the issue is resolved, it can be completely back to normal. Okay, so it's very, very important for you to keep calm while you're in, in the interview, uh, no matter how the interaction is between your lawyer and the USCIS officer. Okay, fourth, if you need to take, if you need to take a break for any reason, okay, whether it be to use the bathroom or just uh, basic, maybe needing nerve, having nerves, maybe needing to walk around for a quick second, uh, that's totally fine, okay? You turn to me um, or your lawyer, if somebody else has been sent in, in my place, and simply ask for a break, okay? And that's it, you're entitled, we'll pause the interview and you go outside, take your break or whatever, um, you know, use the bathroom or whatever exactly, whatever it is that you need exactly, okay? Um, fifth, okay, it, it's very important to be respectful and cordial 
towards the USCIS officer, but not overly friendly, okay? So what do I mean? I mean basically when we go in there, when we go into the office, um, you should be respectful to the, to the officer, okay? You should say please and you should say thank you. Um, it's to if, the, if the adjudicator asks you how your morning is going, you should say it's going fine, okay? Or whatever your response is, thank you. I'm doing well, thank you, okay? Um, but we draw the line between that and engaging in small talk with the USCIS officer. I don't want you talking to the USCIS officer about uh, random things in your life that don't have anything to do with the, with the interview, okay? Um, we don't wanna be talking with the USCIS officer about what you did last weekend. Um, we don't wanna be volunteering information about um, our immigration history or our love history. Um, I had one, um, one client who went into an interview, adjustment of status, excuse me, a naturalization interview, and he started joking about how he had two previous marriages. That's a no-no, okay? That raised the suspicion of the officer, and it's something I had to deal with, okay? And he was not asked about it. He just started talking about it just by himself, okay? So we want to avoid situations like that, okay? So um, that's how the interview goes. Um, in a perfect interview, I don't have to say a single thing. I just listen there intently, and I don't say anything, okay? But of course, I am there ready and able, of course, to chime in if necessary, okay? Um, that's it. Um, as always, if you have any questions, you know how to contact me. By now, you have my contact information, and I'm looking forward to a successful interview and a, success, a successful uh, adjustment of status or naturalization interview. That's it.